All right, we've got something. We have a watch to really talk about today. And this is the Surge Knives Model 3 watch. So it is a knife maker turned watchmaker. And it's just very cool. So let's talk about the watch a little bit. I've done videos on Model 1 and Model 2 previously, and I will link to them down below. I have a playlist uh, as well as up in the corner towards the end. So it's uh, Serge Pachenko, and I totally forgot to look up where he is. I think he's here in California, if I recall. This is the bean, the double detent bean that my uh, brother gifted to me because that's what brothers do. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's just, uh, double detent is kind of cool. I don't carry it often. I don't use it often, but yeah, eh. they made them in a bunch of different sti shapes and s models and things like that. And he also did a bunch of other knives. He made the coin claw and things like that. So we'll just put that off to the side. So he also, and we'll just zoom in here because, well, it's small, so we can do that. He's also made three different watches now. This is number three. This looks very similar to number one. It was very similar square type of shape. The Model 1, though, and the Model 2, or the Model 3, the 1 and 3 have differences because Model 3, as you can tell by that seconds hand, is a quartz watch because you can see it tick, tick, ticking away. Um, normally on a automatic watch, it's more of a sweeping second hand. Um, and I actually don't, didn't even bring any other watches here. <laughs> ah, let me pause, grab a watch or two to compare it to, and I will be right back. A few moments later. All right, so I did bring out a couple of other watches here to show. Here is the um, an automatic, and you can see the seconds hand. Just for those of you that don't know, if you're watching my channel, you probably know already, but just to kind of give you the side-by-side, -side, I did not set these seconds hands exactly, so that's why they're a little off, but you know, you get the idea, right? All right, so put that off the side. I'll do a little size comparisons in a minute. So let's talk about the specs on this thing. As I get my notes out here, it is a, it's kind of a weird case. Normally you're measuring the um, diameter of the case, right? This is a 40 millimeter case. This is also a 40 millimeters in this direction, but a little bit higher in this direction. So it's 40 millimeters side to side. The lug to lug is 44. The lug width is 22. The overall thickness, if you will, is just 10.8 millimeters, which is super thin. And that's due to the quartz movement. So you can see by the Rolex Air King is an automatic and it's not doubly thick, you know, but it is noticeably thicker, right? Okay. This does have a sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside, which is awesome. Uh, it is the Miyota 2035 quartz movement. 200 meter water resistance, weighs in at three ounces, totally spaced the calculation, but you guys can do the math to grams if you so choose. And a 6.6 .6 millimeter crown. So the crown is a little bit small. It is a screw down crown which gives you that 200 meter water resistance and it has a nice little pop. Um, this does nothing. You do pull it out. It does hack the seconds and you can set the time. It's a very cool watch. Now it came in three different dial colors. This is the OD green. It did come in or it, well, yeah, they're sold out. So it came in black, gray, and the OD green. And then there were six different bezel options, titanium, copper, ammo can, steel, uh, carbon fiber, aluminum, and orange G10. This I believe is the copper. I totally spaced ask, asking Alex 
Um, but it looks like the copper or the titanium that's anodized. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think it looks really cool. Now, you can order additional bezels and you can mix this up. Um, I think they were a hundred bucks for the bezels. So the watches are made in Hong Kong for Serge. He makes all of the bezels himself. He assembles them all himself and like gets them ready to ship, right? Um, these come with this leather strap that also has the signed um, buckle that's stonewashed. The case is stonewashed. I mean, it's a nice package. There is some detail information on the back, if you know that's important to you. Um, talks a little bit about it. It's genuine leather on the strap. And all in all, well done. So it comes with a leather strap and a rubber strap, as well as a... Does it come with a bracelet too? I don't remember. I'm going to have a link to their website down below. So we'll get that information. Um, so as far as size comparisons, these are both 40 millimeter watches. And then I did bring out also a Casio um, Royale that was modded by Alex. And this is loaned in by Alex. So just to give you a comparison there as well. Now, this leather strap is not my favorite because it's very thick and it is wide. It didn't really taper down. So it is a little tough to get it sized appropriately for me because I have to kind of pull on it pretty tight to then get it in a, in a loop that is going to fit correctly. Because it's either, again, like on the last watch I did uh, that actually aired today that I'm filming, the Zodiac, Tropic strap. It's either one too tight or one too loose. This is one too tight for me. Um, but because it's a little tight and you really have to kind of work at it and the leather strap is thick, you have to kind of work to get it unbuckled. But this is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So it gives you an idea as to what it looks like. I think if I drop it one, is it too loose? It's a little loose because it can almost spin it around, but I probably would wear it there on this one because I don't like them super tight. Um, this keeper also is super loose. That's not also too exciting to me, but that does work on my seven and a quarter. It is a nice watch. I do like a quartz watch because it's easy just grab and go. When you don't have time to wind the watch, set the watch, and get it ready to go out, you can just grab a quartz watch, throw it on your wrist. If it's a normal quartz watch, it won't take you five minutes to figure out how to put it on and off your wrist. That's what's great about this guy. It's a great grab-and-go watch. Give you that on my also seven and a quarter inch wrist. This was modded. It's got some uh, like a film in there that makes it the blue color. He got rid of some of the wording on the case and all that. Um, so, yeah, quartz watches are great just because of the grab-and-go feature. The Air King, also at 40 millimeters, wears great on my 7 and quarter inch rest. So there you go. A quick look at the Surge Model 3. The Model 2 was actually a round diver watch, um, which I also didn't love. But yeah, go check out the Surge Knives playlist over there in the corner. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.